light on. So, uh, we're just doing an overnighter, uh, Salmonberry River today, um, up in the Tillamook National Forest. Uh, I'm looking at somewhere between probably 12 and 20 miles, maybe less if I'm a little bit, uh, a little lazy today. Um, it's an out and back along some, uh, abandoned railroad, um, some tunnels, some, uh, what are they called? Trestles. And, um, some washed out tracks probably. But other than that, I've got the baby in the back seat and, uh, you know, it's 5.30 in the morning and, uh, we're below 40 degrees and hopefully we... Stay above freezing tonight. I think coast range, it shouldn't be too bad, low elevation. So uh, we're gonna get going and we'll be most of the way to the trailhead by the time the sun comes up. So, the sun's out and I'm not at the trailhead. I'm obviously driving. I was driving, it was dark and foggy, and I had a guy on my ass, and I'm coming up on the turn, and uh, I'm looking for it, I'm looking for it, and then I just see cones, and like just like, the road's out. So I keep driving, Google Maps updates, tells me to take this other road, I look at it, the route looks fine, it's going to take me exactly where I need to go, I start going. I'm about seven miles up this Forest Service road and there's snow on the ground, and obviously that's a problem. So I, I'm, I'm going, it's it's not uh, impassable. I can do it just fine in the car, so I'm uh, going, I'm going, and I'm kind of raising up an elevation, and then all of a sudden I see like some wires, and I thought it was a building at first. Turns out it was, it's like, uh, a logging operation up on the road that I need to take to get to the trailhead. So, um, grabbed a couple pictures, turned around, I'm headed back towards the highway now. Alrighty, so I, the, the road that I thought was out and broken, turns out is just fine. And, uh, I made it to the trailhead. I'm about 50 yards from the uh, tracks right now, and uh, there's just more snow on the ground than I was expecting here. In fact, I was expecting zero snow, so um, just gotta, I guess, continue my track record of having snow on every single backpacking trip I've ever been on. So, um, I don't know how quickly the scenery here will get exciting, but I do know it should be pretty quick and there should be a good amount of stuff that I get to see today, so. Here's a nice spot where the ties have just, you know, they're completely suspended. And there's a lot of this and a lot worse than that. I'm not gonna lie, this is kinda, kinda spooky. There's just something about tunnels that are just creepy to begin with. And then make it abandoned to the point where you can't see light on the other side. That's just not natural. So, I may dig the headlamp out for this.
I'm just gonna say it. Fuck that. <laughs> That's absolutely terrifying, is it? So, the crazy thing is, if you look at this area, there's, you know, it's in real disrepair. Um, but less than 10 years ago, they were running trains on this line. And if you, you know, walked this trail, you know, there was a chance that you could have trains go blowing by you. You know, in those tunnels or on the trussles or, you know, so. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of trussles. I hope I'm saying that word right. Maybe trestle. Oh. Well, at least it's kind of cool right here. I don't. Should be. Should be fine. Got an old. Uh tank of some sort, water, oil, something like that, gas, and the big trussel. I knew this was coming. Seems a lot bigger than I anticipated though. <laughs> but it seems pretty sturdy. There was some smaller little trussels a while back that uh, I was a little apprehensive. They didn't have anything like what I'm walking on right now. It was just tie after tie after tie with, with nothing to stand on but the railroad ties. And they were not this closely spaced. They were just, you know, standard spacing. Um, so I'd take those one at a time. And if this was the, the same as that, I absolutely would not have come over this. Even then, I'm still a little apprehensive. Gotta be careful. Wow. Look at that. That's a solid 100 feet at least. It's a little bit rainy now, so we're gonna rain gear up. Which means I got a lot of time. Too big. It's fucking. It's like. A, Alrighty, tunnel number two of the day. The good news is. On this one, I can see the other side, or light on the other side, so. Though it's odd and a little bit more at ease. Am I coming out straight into like a bridge? Well, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, another trestle. Trestle. I don't know. Oh, let's see. There we go.
I damn, god damn Sometimes I act like the man, whoa Skirt the old stang on my friends, whoa Buy another 40 to my friends, yeah I got wins up in my sights, I could scoop up all that height Now it's just, a, just now noon And coming out, you can't see it yet because the exposure Let's see if I fix that. The uh, tracks are completely out here, so I might be forced to turn around. But I'm real close here to the Beaver Slide Road that I had planned on kind of making a decision at. And I was thinking, you know, either I turn around there and I head back and camp, or I camp in this area, or, or what. And I know I'm going to turn back and look for a campsite, but. I may uh, just turn this into a day trip, you know. I think uh, I'm gonna take a little break here. Um, have a snack, get some water, and then start heading back for the uh, for the flat spots I was looking at. And then, depending on my timing, I might just you know dip out of here before it gets dark, get home, sleep in my own bed, and not be creeped out so I just made it back through the first tunnel uh, the really creepy one I decided it's a really long night out here um, I got about to where I thought you know I might want to camp out and I just kind of kept going. Um, so I think I'm officially just turning this into a day trip. I'm less than two miles out, I think, from the car at this point. I'm back to where there's snow on the ground. I said the last time I did the other part of this that I would never hike along railroad tracks again and I don't know why I didn't listen to myself because it just kills your legs the constant like up and down and there's no no sure footing all around there's a lot of effort um I, it ended up being about 12 and a half miles but it is what it is saw some cool stuff um I don't know if I would do this again it was just so much effort and like kind of my I mean my my legs are killing me and my feet are killing me because of that gravel with a lot of it's like just like loose big rocks so you feel every single one of them when you step on them and uh it's just it's a real pain um the sights were cool a little creepy but cool and uh the only reason I think I have to come back out to this river would be as if it's a real trail. So, all in all, not a bad day. Uh, didn't die. So, it's about the best I can hope for on any given day.